Hey everybody, sorry, I think I've done it again, but I wrote it down, so I've actually made everything up. This is called Barnyard Burgers for a reason. This is a combination of pork, beef, ground chicken. We've got a four ounce package of uh, sun-dried tomato and basil goat cheese, so it's like Okay, it's off the farm. Let's do this. Uh, we will include the recipe at the bottom, as we usually do. But, instead of adding the onion this time around to my burgers like I usually do, what we've got over on the grill <clears throat> is I just sliced up a medium tomato. I mean, tomato. Uh, let's try this again. We've got a medium onion sliced up, ready to go on the grill. Cast iron, you can't beat it on using it on the grill. We've got the grill fired up 350 degrees. Stick that right on there like that and get those started sauteing. <clears throat> and as for these, I don't know what this is going to come out tasting like, but we're going to give it a shot. I was at the store talking to a lady about goat cheese. I was really kind of iffy about using the goat cheese. I said, how does it melt? She says, well, I don't think it really does. When you mix it in these, it just dissolves. I was impressed. So, let's get all these on the grill. <clears throat> Tried to make them to about a third of a pound a piece. I'm okay. A little over three pounds of meat and everything. <clears throat> we'll give that a uh, maybe five or ten minutes just to check on it, and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Oh, we don't have any sponsors. But I'll be glad to mention you guys. Kroger, T uh, Trader Joe's, Aldi. Got good stuff, guys. All right. We'll be back. All right. We're back. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. What I did was I took the frying pan and went from the bottom. Here's the smoke to the top. And also closed the damper on a direct fire here. So, I think we're about ready on the onions, and we're going to flip the burgers. By the way, I had to have a cold beer, and uh, they don't sponsor me either. But, anyway, let's flip these things. Let me grab my spatula. They are actually looking quite good. They are looking exceptionally well. I tried to come up with something that you guys could do at home. We are in the middle of the coronavirus here. And as of 6 o'clock tonight, which is about another hour or so here in Georgia, we are going to be in a shelter-in-place situation. So, if you guys got any kind of uh, recipes you want us to do, we'll do it. This is something I just... We will be right back. We're back. About five minutes or so later, it was trying to flare up again. We're thinking it was from the cheese. This is a it's trial and error. Uh, I think we were talking about before we went to the break. Our governor here in Georgia, as of this evening, Friday, is putting us the whole state into a shelter-in-place situation. People, 
this ain't nothing to mess around with. I, you know, whether you're a subscriber or whatever, first time viewer, we, we appreciate it all. But T, please take heed to this. Uh, this is nothing to fool with. I just found out this morning listening to the news, an 11-year-old kid died. I mean, it's, it wants to bring you tears to your eyes. So it's bad enough affecting the elderly and everything. But please, people, take this seriously. I was young at one time, believe it or not, and yeah, you feel like you're kind of indestructible, but people, you're not. Anyway, we're getting ready to pull these things. We're going to do a taste test. Come back, join us in just a minute. Okay, we are back. Uh, in my opinion, it's not a bun until you toast it. It's got a little bit of have a heat on it. Uh, what I did at our local Ingalls here picked up some of this fresh out of the bakery. They call them French hamburger buns. I didn't know the French made hamburger buns. Anyway, throw a little bit of butter on here. What we're going to do, we're just going to stick it on there and put a little bit of heat to it. And while at Aldi, I found this Emporium Selection Smoked White Cheddar. We don't get sponsored by any of these people, but I'm showing you some good stuff to go buy. Anyway, we're going to put a little piece on this. I had to open it up and try a piece. People, it's off the hook. So, let's do this. Get everything going in here. What we'll do is situate our cheese again. We've got our bread going to brown up here. I think I might want to take that a little bit off the heat. And we're going to toast that up. And give me about two minutes and we'll be back. Okay, we are back. Caramelized onions and our burger. But we gotta get our bun first. You can prepare these any way you want. Look at that. A little bit burnt. No problem. You can smell this cheddar cheese. It is awesome. Alright. There we go. Put a little bit of these caramel onions on the top of it. Now you can add your lettuce, tomato, mayo, and all that. I'm just doing you a shortcut here. Like I don't have time after we've got this shelter in place going down. Anyway, there it is. Maybe I need to get somebody to test this. Like my photographer. He's saying no. All right. This is off the chain. Mm. Look at that. That might be a regular on the list. That is really, really good. Like I said, we'll put the recipe at the bottom. Try this. It's awesome. Anyway, I'm not going to leave you with our catchphrase. There's no such thing as a boneless wing. It's just a glorified nugget, but I am going to leave you with this. Hey, you guys, keep your hands washed up. Be safe. Be cool. Love Jesus. We'll check y'all next time. Bye. Well, good morning, everybody. I had this thing about the barnyard burgers. We're going to make a barnyard omelet. So what we're going to do is take the hamburgers we made, cut it thin. Don't have to use it all unless you're going to have a big omelet. I'm only going to use two eggs. Overpower the meat, maybe. We'll set that off to the side. Get a little bit of small size to it. It's not an omelet without sausage or bacon. So we got sausage this time around. And. Going to use about maybe a quarter of the hamburger patty, half of the sausage, cut it up thin. As you can see, I've, I've been falling in love with this smoked cheddar. It's awesome. All right. So what we've got here, we're gonna we have a little bit of salt. I've got a mixture of chipotle pepper, smoked paprika and black pepper. 
That's what we'll be seasoning with. And we will be back after we get our frying pan started with the butter. I'm not going to waste your time. As I've been saying, we'll be right back. My apologies for bumping the camera. But everybody's asleep. I just had this urge to try this. So what we're going to do is a barnyard omelet. Our butter is about ready. What we have here is two eggs beaten well. And we're going to start that going. I think I'm the world's worst on eggs because I cannot stand a scorched egg. So we're going to heat that up. I let it get just a little bit going here, and then what we're going to do <clears throat> is add our ingredients. Doesn't really matter how you do this. A little bit of salt, a little bit of our multi blend here. I think smoked paprika adds flavor to about everything. Alright, so what we're going to do is get a little bit of doneness on the bottom of this omelet. And what we will do is start adding our ingredients. I don't think we're going to need all these. But depending on how much meat you like in your omelet. Then the cheese, I don't think you really have to do this slicing like this, but I like kind of spread it out a little bit. All right, we'll turn it down just a little bit. It looks like we're about ready to start playing with it. All right, so, we flip this over you'll see what I'm talking about get a little bit more done and then what we will do in just a minute we'll be preparing this thing to fold it in half here we go all right that's not quite in half, it's a little bit two-thirds to one-third. But as you can see, the eggs are not scorched. Now we've got the cheese in there, you just want to cook it just a little bit till your insides are done. You could actually add a little bit more of our pepper blend here. Is that pretty or what? All right. And turn it over. Look, Mama, no scorching. I think I am the world's worst on a scorched egg. Okay. Let's flip it back over. I think we're about ready to plate this up. Clean my mess up a little bit here. Now I've got a different way I, I, I finish this off. Most people would like cook it a little bit, flip it, and then put a piece of cheese on it. Doesn't matter. What we're going to do here is to put the cheese on top <clears throat> and the secret is about to come on how we do this. You're going, oh no, trust me, the cheese will not stick. Let it sit for a minute, actually we can turn the heat up a little bit. This is where the melting of the cheese is really, I like it. Not just put it on there and let it melt a little bit. I like it melted thoroughly, if there's such a thing. All right, we're going to turn it up the heat just for a second or two, and then we'll plate this up. I 
think we're good. All right. Well, I think we need a bigger plate too. So what we will do is get a bigger plate. And here we go. It's kind of hard doing all this, the photography and everything. So, it's getting a little bit prettier. There we go. Now, we're not done. What we're going to do is to top this off. Watch what I do. <clears throat> I was just thinking about this. Why not add some picante sauce to it? Chunky, tomatoey, got all the vegetables in it, just a tad bit of spice, and there you have it. Trust me. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. And do do. That is probably one of the best omelets you'll ever put in your mouth. Okay. I can't do a taste test and do the camera at the same time. Trust me, this thing is wonderful. Tastes really awesome. So, with that, hey guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Sorry it's been a, a day or two since we've got anything out. You guys be safe out there. Be cool. Love Jesus and wash your hands. Bye guys.